guys, welcome back to Bushcraft Heroes. I'm Bo. I'm Ruben. I'm Matt. Today, we're finally back out in the woods and we're going to be doing a bit of work on the tree house. What are we going to be doing, Rubes? Well, we're going to be installing a, a wood burn stove upstairs so we can stay toasty warm at night. And we might probably end up having to do some work on the roof as well, but we'll see how the day goes. Stick with us. All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rip the roof off of the shelter um, so that we can fit the wood burning stove up there and sort of repatch it in all nice. Um, so we're going to do that now. First thing we had to do was remove all of the old beds and everything from the floor of the treehouse so that we could have proper access to the roof and the walls for tarping it up and replacing the roof. So I'm thinking for the stove pipe where we're putting it up, if we rip this tarp down yeah. and then we build a new roof, where we're putting the stove up, we build like a cross. Yeah, two like, pieces, so two horizontals, yeah. and two, two vertical. Like, yeah. well, they'll all be horizontal, I guess, but horizontal and then perpendicular. Perpendicular. To that. <laughs> and then we'll um, put the stove up through that cross piece that yeah. we build. We'll also put other ones on the roof. Yeah. And then we'll put the tin on that cross piece, and then the stove will run up through that, and it should be fairly safe. Or do it like uh, shingles so that the tarp goes over the top. Yeah. And then the tin goes over the. Yeah. Over the top of that. So yeah, like layers off. <laughs> So, we're getting the tarp in so that the cold air doesn't come rush up from the floor like it has been since we built this. Uh, this was the rooftop and we're now using it for the floor because after removing it, it got a little bit damaged. So we're going to use that for the floor and use one of the better tarps to keep us dry. So Ruben had, has welded us up a nice wood burning stove. Yeah, it's made out of a uh, 50 gallon hot water heater something that you'd have in your house to heat your water and I just cut a hole in the front for a door welded a six inch pipe on the top for chimney and see how it works you'll see more of it later we just spent probably an hour hauling it down on a sled from the truck which was super intense dragging it through the snow the snow's really deep at the moment it's like, like a foot of snow yeah maybe more maybe than that. more maybe foot and a half yeah it was exhausting super exhausting <laughs> But we're back at camp now, so so get cracking. Sweet. So, which is the little one for this guy? That's the little guy. This guy. And then we'd have to wrap this down. Yeah, this bit. Yeah. All right. I mean, it's a nine by twelve. It should be big enough. So guys, it's been a pretty frosty one today. It's not too cold, probably minus 15, I think minus 16, minus 17. But it's supposed to drop down to minus 24, 25 tonight. We really got to get a wiggle on. It's two o'clock PM right now. We just pretty much finished tarping the inside of the shelter. So this wall behind me, the one behind you, and this one uh, all done. We've got to finish this last one off. Then we've got to cut some fresh pieces for the roof because the roof was a bit of a shambles before. We're kind of okay with some um, air 
escaping out the top because we're obviously running a stove. We don't want it to be completely airtight because if there's any smoke build up, then it's going to not be good, especially if we're in bunk beds, the person at the top is going to get all the smoke um, and carbon monoxide as well. So we do want some air circulation, so not too worried about um, any little gaps, but for the most part, the floor is pretty much solid. Um, and Ruben's just cutting the rest of those planks um, for the stove to sit on because it's really important that the stove has a really nice solid base um, and isn't wobbly because the floor is a little bit wobbly um, at times. So we're going to get the floorboards done, get them nailed down so we've got a solid, nice, solid, chunky bed for the stove to stand on um, and then finish the roof off. But yeah, look at this. Freezy McFreeze happening right now. Now last thing we got to do is get this roof sorted out. So before we finalise where exactly we're putting the stove for Ruben, we're going to get the rest of the roof framed out so that it's ready for the stove to come in and leave a few pieces loose so we can manoeuvre them into the right position because we have a steel plate that's going to uh, allow the flue of the chimney to go through the tarp without touching the tarp. Tin plate. Yeah. Tin plate, yeah. So we're going to get this roof framed out, right? Yeah. Sweet. So in case that wasn't perfectly clear, what we're trying to do is make a solid, thick, wooden base for the stove to sit on. Something that when we walk in here and everything wiggles, the stove doesn't wiggle. The way that we've discussed and decided that the best way to do that is, is to lay these horizontally, pilot, pilot holes through it with this drill bit and use 12 inch nails, which are big boys like this, to go all the way through these hearths all the way down into the main supporting joists for the uh, underside of the treehouse. And that should lock it in so tight that it's just not gonna move. So hopefully that'll work, we'll see. It's a right show going on right now, I tell you. This thing is huge. Holy smokes. Oh my God. Do you want to nail that end piece in? Yeah. That's freaking insane. And I'll throw a nail in here to like lock in that leg. <laughs> <laughs> so before we do anything, so we'll put this sofa, we'll move one of these up here. This side of this pipe. Yeah. Bring this other one up close. Yeah. And then we strap them down, and then someone needs to get up there and cut the pines. Yeah. Back. Yeah. Before it gets too dark. Yeah. It doesn't look that big from where you guys are, but it's like monstrous. It's happening. <laughs> The ridiculous spaceship <laughs> is in. Got the flue pipe through. And we're just securing these two beams. Secure this beam, horizontals, tarp, midnight. <laughs> okay. What's going on, Rube? <laughs> eager, eager to get a player going. Yeah, we just finished. Um, maybe you can tell the story of what happened, Embo. We've been struggling to get this roof together to a nice point where we're happy with it. And we'll still have to finish it tomorrow and then build beds tomorrow. But we're about to get the first fire lit. In the treehouse. In the treehouse, in the stove. <laughs> that we've been promising you guys for a long time. And yeah, look a, at the size of it. It's a monster. So, 
you can see that guy. We're going to be back on the floor. Like tin. But hopefully warm on the floor. Yeah. It's teasing us. Oh, this is a proud parent moment. It's finally come to fruition, Rube. All that hard work. This is basically all Reuben. Me and Bo helped a little bit for, for a day but didn't really do very much. Do this nothing. is basically all Ruben's work. Hashtag Rube's a legend yeah. in the comments, <laughs> please. That's R-E-U-B. Hashtag would do Rube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need more wood, we're gonna burn out. Yeah, grab some biggies, grab some biggies. There's a, there's a nice bit of, bit of pine just to get Nice going. bit of pine. Oh look, the door's shut. Well, there's not smoking in here. Not too bad, most of it's going up. What you doing, Rube? <laughs> <laughs> Making bacon. Making pancakes. So, how did you all sleep? How did you sleep? I slept like a babby. Like a baba ganoush. Like a drunk baby. Yeah, the, the stove kept the fire, uh, kept the, the shelter warm until probably I'd say 7 o'clock this morning, maybe 6.30 this morning. Well, maybe then 6, probably then 6 or 5.30. Yeah, probably 5 or something. Yeah. Probably more like 5. Yeah. I was um, pretty warm for probably about 4 hours and then it started to get cool. Yeah. Uh, going to bed, too hot, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. I was toasty when I went to bed. It was super cozy. It's 73% humidity right now. Right. It's minus 20, but with the humidex, it's minus 28 right now. And the top plate, it worked out a charm for uh, heating up hot water and stuff. We got a load of snow and um, melted it on the top. So we had hot water to go to bed with. So that top plate that Ruben welded on there worked out it's like a charm. Yeah, such so good you did. And it's nice underneath it's 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 warm but it's not over over warm. So we put all of the water bottles underneath and it mel it melted the ice in them but didn't melt the plastic. So it's actually perfect. Like it's 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 quite an amazing thing. Oh, sorry. That's right. We ended up removing the Oh, cheers, buddy. We ended up removing the tarp from behind the stove just for safety because it was starting to look a little bit like it might melt a bit. So we took it, we cut that rectangle out just to be safe. All right, that's it for this week's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and or a comment. Let us know what you thought of it. And we'll see you next time for another episode of Bushcraft Heroes Treehouse.